there wouldn't have been no need for the distractions if it wasn't working. What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a wonderful and blessed day. So today we're going to be talking about why it's working. And I can go on here and tell you why it's working. Because you have the favor of God in your life. Because you are about to enter into a new season. Because God is about to transform your life from the inside out. God is about to do new things in your life. And that's why the devil will try to send distractions your way. He wants to discourage you. He wants to redirect your path. But God will not let that happen. Any weapon that's formed against you shall not prosper. It's not going to prosper. I'm living proof that God will continue to work in our lives to get us to a brighter and better day. I'm living proof. I'm a walking testimony for real. Same thing with my mom, same thing with my sister, same thing with my brother. I've seen God do this time and time again. But it starts with believing. You must believe in the power of God. You must have faith in Lord Jesus. Believe on whom the Father hath sent, and that's Lord Jesus. So I was watching this video on Instagram, right, about a guy preaching on the street. And he saw this guy walking and he asked him, did he believe in Lord Jesus? And the guy said, of course I do. So he asked him a question. He said, if you was to leave this world tonight, where do you think you will go? Hell or heaven? And the guy said, he think he will go to hell. So to make a long story short, he started telling them about the gospel of Lord Jesus and he asked him if he wanted to be saved tonight. And the guy said yes. And he started reciting the sinner's prayer. And so he recited that sinner's prayer. And as the street pre preacher is praying over him, the people that the guy was with started trying to pull him away. They started saying stuff to him. They started trying to take them to where they was going and get on about their business. But he didn't allow them to distract him. He continued to say the sinner's prayer. He continued to believe. He continued to stand there. And the glory of God showed up in that moment. See, the point I'm trying to make, if it wasn't working, there would be no need for the distractions. When the devil sees something working in your life, he's going to try to send a distraction your way to pull you off the course that the heavenly father has chosen for you. See, when that young man walked up, I could tell that he wanted something different to happen in his life. I could see the glory of God in him. He just had to realize that the heavenly father is with him. See, God don't make no mistakes. Sometimes you got to realize that God is with you. And although the devil will try to send distractions your way, the heavenly father will send confirmation your way to let you know it's working. You're on the right track. See, one thing I learned about life is this. The devil wants to discourage us so much while we're living in sin that we don't turn to the heavenly father. He wants to try to make us feel so bad that we continue to walk in darkness until we meet that destruction. That's why every time you make that conscious decision to want to turn your lifestyle around, you want to live a better life, you want to become a better person, when you finally make up in your mind, it's almost like all these old habits start to flood back into your life. Those old friends start to turn back into your life. And it's almost like all this distraction start happening all at once. See, that's the enemy trying to discourage you because he see that it's working. See, when you turn your life over to Lord Jesus, you thought it wasn't working because of all the distractions. See, he was trying to distract you from the glory of God. That's what the enemy was trying to do through family members, through friends, through aggravation at your job. The manager might be getting on your nerves right now or co-workers might be 
becoming jealous of you because it's working. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. But it's hard to see that. It's hard to see the glory of God when we're consumed by distractions. So you got to continue on the course of righteousness because I promise you, if you endure the temptation, if you get through what you need to go through on the other side, I always say this, you will be a better person. The devil don't want you to become who God created you to be. But God said, endure it. And that's how you receive the promises of God. See, God has things for you that's going to not just change your life, but those around you life as well. Sometimes all people need to do is realize that God is in their life. God may be using you to help others realize he's working. God may be using you to help others realize it's working. God might be using you to help others realize just keep believing. Because we all have seen these distractions come up in our life. But guess what? You are a living testimony that if you don't fall for the devil's schemes on the other side, you become unrecognizable. Because you allow the Heavenly Father to transform you from the inside out. The glory of God is upon your life. And when God starts to change things about your life, people won't even be able to recognize you. See, Lord Jesus said it best. The world recognized their own. So when it's working, guess what? When the glory of God is working in your life, people are going to try to reject you. People going to try to pull you back to an old lifestyle. People going to try to take you off the path of righteousness that the Heavenly Father has chosen for you through Lord Jesus. But when you don't fall for that stuff, when you recognize who has all authority and that's Lord Jesus, when you recognize who you are in Christ, you can rebuke the enemy. Rebuke every evil thing that tries to rise up against you. Because God has a plan for your life. And if you stay true to the faith you have in Lord Jesus, guess what? It's going to work out in your favor. It's working. There would not be no need for the distractions if it wasn't working. Continue to believe. I pray this word bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.